controller settings in this video allow me to do this with my aim? Oh. Turn me into a peace control demon like this? Oh my, oh my, full box! Dad. And allow me to be one of the first controller players in the entire world to reach the Unreal rank in just three days in the new season. And I hardly ever change my controller settings with the new season, but I'm very glad I did with these because it truly turned me into a controller god. But a lot of the other pros are also using these exact same settings or very similar ones, so I 100% know that they work. And before we get into the settings, boys, make sure you guys are using code DISC in your Fortnite item shops for me giving you these awesome aimbot settings. It really supports me and shout out to you guys. And let's go ahead and hop right into these controller settings, guys. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you too long, but we're gonna go over every single setting as they're very important. So first to start off, I do play PC on controller as many controller pros do. So that's why I am on 240 FPS as you guys can see right here. And if you're also a PC on controller player, make sure that your window mode is set to full screen as this is going to reduce the amount of input delay you have in game while fighting. Now, obviously, if you guys are on console or anything like that, you guys are going to be anywhere from 60 to 120 FPS. And if you're still at 60 FPS, then I highly recommend if you guys can afford it to upgrade to the newer gen consoles because 120 FPS compared to 60 makes a massive difference. And it can also get you your first earnings. My brightness is actually on 100% and this allows me to see my enemies very far and very clear. My colorblind mode is set to Tritonope 10 and this actually makes my game look way more vibrant and it helps me see the enemies in storm in case I'm holding a medallion team in storm or trying to get a few extra kills for some placement points. Tritonope 10 in my opinion is one of the best colorblind modes and strengths. I've been using this for literally four years. Scrolling down, I am on performance mode which is only on PC but you guys are going to see something very similar to this and make sure everything is ticked to off or low except your view distance. For me, I have my view distance on far because I am on a dual PC setup. If I was on a single PC setup, I would have it to either medium or far. I think Epic just drops your frames way too much in game. Show FPS on and report performance stats off because that lowers your input delay. Moving into the audio settings. Now, when it comes to this specific tab in the settings menu, this is basically personal preference. But if you guys want to copy these down, these settings in specific literally allows me to hear my enemies from across the map. It's actually insane. I feel like this is super broken. So you guys can go ahead and copy these down if you guys want. But at the end of the day, make sure you guys are using what you are comfortable with. And then moving into the game settings. First off, we have movement. Now, I do have my toggle sprint turned off. Since I'm a controller player, I really don't like clicking keys. I like to be highly interactive when I'm in the game. I don't like tabbing out or looking at another screen. So I'm always there. That's why I have toggle sprint turned off. Auto open doors always need to be on. And now here's something you guys should actually take a look at. Make sure your mantle activation is on hold jump and your hurdle activation is on press jump. I think they added the hurdle activation into last season with the new movement. So make sure that is on press jump instead of hold forward. You're just going to want to trust me on this. This allows you to mantle very fast. And as a controller player, one of our best features is our movement and our mantle abilities which allows us to catch keyboard players off guard especially in a build fight in a game so make sure you guys have these settings just like this moving on to the combat portion of these settings my hold to swap pickup is off toggle targeting is going to be off mark danger when targeting is on auto pickup weapons is off and then for my preferred item slots you guys need to get on your game right now and copy my preferred item slots right now because this is the best controller loadout and how you should have all of your loadouts especially if you're on controller i actually made a youtube short and a tiktok about this and they both got over 4 million views combined we have your shotgun first your s SMG, your consumable item, your utility item, and then your assault rifle for last. And basically what this allows you to do, say you're pickaxing someone's wall, the first weapon after you click your bumper is going to be always your shotgun so you can get that hard hitting shot. And then the point of this loadout is after you shoot your shot with your shotgun, if you would like, you can easily switch to either spray weapon, whether that be your assault rifle or your SMG, which is why this is the best preferred item slot loadout that every single controller pro is currently using and has been for over four years. And then moving on to the building options, I have reset building choice for on, disabled pre-edit options always need to be turned on, turbo building on of course auto confirm edits is off if you guys are a controller player make sure you guys turn auto confirm edits off especially if you're trying to play comp just trust me on this i know it may make your edits look more flashy but at the end of the day it's just going to hold you back from being a top competitive pro controller player and then moving on to the reticle and damage feedback setting let's go ahead and skim through this really fast my reticle is on my reticle ammo indicator is turned on my damage number is set to cumulative i don't like them on list because when it lists out the numbers it tends to block the opponent's body sometimes so i want to make sure i hit every single shot reticle damage feedback is set to hit only. My damage number scale is on 110 and my overall HUD scale is set to 90. And then we have gyro options, which I'm pretty sure no one uses. Make sure you guys turn this off because it would absolutely mess up your controller movement in game. If anyone does use the gyro settings, please let me know down in the comments below. And now moving on to my brand new advanced controller settings that I've literally been using so much this season. First things first, we have the controller auto run is set to on. Build immediately, builder pro is set to on. My edit hold time is 0.100 and my slide hold time is 0.0001. 
0.080. I'm pretty sure this is also marrow and base waist slide hold time, so that's something to take into account. Your reset camera axis needs to be on pitch. My reset camera time is on 0.1. Control vibration is obviously off. If you guys still have this turned on, please go check right now. Turn this off because it will make you miss your shots. Quick weapon beta is kind of garbage right now because it is in beta. Make sure you guys have this turned off, which is the setting is right here. And then moving on to my sensitivities. Now, when this season first came out, I believe I was playing on 5.4 or 4.5. One of these was changed, but I actually lowered it because I noticed as I got higher in the ranks and I started facing like all these pro players and pro content creators, it just felt a little too fast for my liking. So I went ahead and changed the look and aim sensitivity to 4.4. And then I went and changed my build and edit mode sensitivity to 2.2 for my build and 2.1 for my edit. I believe I had both of them on 2.3 when the season first came out. And then as you can see, this use advanced options needs to be ticked on. A lot of people don't actually tick that on and wonder why they don't have these extra settings. So make sure this is turned on guys. And my look horizontal speed is at 43. My look vertical speed is at 43. If you're a controller player, I highly recommend this to be anywhere from 40 to 50%. It really doesn't matter as long as it's in that 40 to 50 range. I like mine at 43. I sometimes change it to 41 or 45, depending on how I'm feeling. And then moving on to the controller boost, make sure you guys are not using any of the controller boosts. They're absolute garbage. I don't care what anyone tells you. Controller boosting is absolutely garbage and it's going to hinder your skill. Moving on to the aiming portion of this video, which is arguably the most important section of the video. I have killed so many streamers, especially in rank, and a few of them have accused me of using aimbot, but it's all GG's though. For my ADS look horizontal speed, I have it on 11. For my look vertical speed, I have it on 11. Of course, 0% boost on all. I do play on linear with 100% aim assist, and both of my dead zones are going to be at 5, five ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you do end up getting stick drift in the right stick, that's all good, man. All you literally have to do is just raise it until you don't have stick drift anymore, but I like playing on 5-5. Five five. And then moving on to my controller binds, I do play on a PlayStation 4 controller. A default PS4 controller is all with a right hand claw. If you guys would go ahead and copy my binds, here are my binds that I have literally been using for the past five years on this game, and it has amassed me over $30,000 in earnings. So if you guys do play right hand claw and want to try out my binds, let me know how they work down in the comments for you. And now I'm going to go into a rank game while using these settings and try to get at least a 10 kill win. So make sure you watch it to the end because it gets insane. To my right, to my right, and mind the rock. Crack. Minus, minus, minus. Oh, Donna. Crack. Oh, I'm sorry. Dead. 100. 19. He's inside. Good job. 16. There's like a billion different kids here. I killed white. There's like one. a billion different kids here. Let's see that. Another one. 29 white. This kid? On me. Okay, 17 white. Dead. The kid that just impulse. 16. Crack. I went in there. Dead. You're good, you're good, you're good. Dead. That kid's good. Mm. No, they're bad at bad, they're bad at bad. He's one, he's one. Dead. On the bunker. 16. Dead. Buy you, buy you, buy you. 116. 116. Right, right. Dead, dead, dead. Nice, bro. 24. 290. Crack him. 23. Dead. 30. 300. On tree. Dead. Push me in storm. You're good, you're good. I'm 1 HP. Yeah, he's rising, he's rising, he's rising, he's rising. I killed him. Crack. No. 16. Oh, I'm in. No. Dead, dead, dead. Let's go. Oh my god, bro. Yo.